Hey, this is John with the Garmin Marine Team. Today we're going to be talking about the XM Weather Receiver, Garmin's GDL30. This plugs into any one of Garmin's marine networking products, allows you to get live XM weather anywhere in the U.S. It's a great safety device. So let's take a moment to look at all the cables that come with the receiver and show you how easy it is to install. First off is the power cable. Just need to plug it into the boat's 12-volt system. Next up is the XM antenna. This you're going to want to mount as high as you can on the boat to get a good view of the XM satellites. Also, the GDL30 can receive audio connections. With this cable, you plug this directly into your boat's stereo system if the boat has auxiliary inputs, and now you can get XM audio on your boat's stereo system. Last is the network cable. This is what connects the receiver to your network display, and this is how we get the, the weather information on screen. So with the marine network cable, you plug directly from the XM receiver into the back of your marine network device, and this is how we get the XM video on screen. Okay, let's take a look at the 5215. We know we've got the GDL30 plugged in because I've got the weather icon on screen here. Also, if I look up in the upper right-hand corner, I can see signal strength up here. I've got five bars. That means I've got a great satellite reception. One more thing to look at is under Configure, System, and System Information. If I go under my Weather Subscription, I can actually see I've got Master Mariner Subscription up and running. I can also see that I'm downloading all of these pieces of weather information, and I know the weather's up and running. Okay, so let's click on the weather icon. When you do that, you get five choices. Precipitation, forecast, fishing, sea conditions, and visibility. Let's click on precipitation first. With precipitation, this is just like your home computer or your home TV. You actually see the Nexrad radar returns. Here's your boat right in the center of the screen, and you can see the storms just off to the west. So this may not be a great day to go boating. Now one thing I like to do is click under the menu, go to weather setup. I like to turn the Nexrad radar loop on. What that does is actually show you where the storms are and where they're moving and whether you're in the way of them or not. The other thing I like to do is the legend. I like to show the legend. What that will do is give me an indication of how strong the rain is. The darker the color, the heavier the rain. So let's take a look at that screen. And again, here's the next rad radar with your boat right offshore. Okay, that was precipitation. Let's take a look at our next weather option. To do that, we go to our menu and hit change weather. And let's look at forecast. With the forecast, again, it's just like you'd see on your uh, home computer. You're actually going to see the conditions locally. You can also see the conditions for the entire U.S. This gives you the low pressure systems, high pressure systems. It also gives you an idea of what the weather is going to be in your area. If you want, you can actually get the next forecast. If you're boating tomorrow, click on next forecast, and it will give you the, uh, an idea of what the weather is going to be like tomorrow. The next weather option is a Garmin exclusive fishing information. Click on menu, go to change weather, and click on fishing. Now if you're a fisherman, you're going to want to see things like water temperatures, barometric pressure, things like that. In fact, you can click anywhere on screen to get current temperature. In this case, 77 degrees. Now this is where Garmin really rises above the crowd. We have a feature called Fish Bites. What XM has done is hired fish biologists that go out and study the patterns of different fish. They can tell you exactly where that fish is likely to be based on 12 different environmental conditions. So let's say you're fishing for tuna that day. Click on Menu, click on Fish Species, and click on Tuna. Now go back to the screen, and we'll show you exactly where that fish species is likely to be that day. These blue boxes indicate where that fish species is most likely to be. It's almost like cheating. If you want to see if the offshore conditions are good for boating or not, click on Menu, Change Weather, and go to Sea Conditions. With Sea Conditions, we can show you things like wind speed, wind direction, and wave heights, and help you decide if it's a good day to go boating offshore or not. So if you look at this screen, you'll see different color blues. This corresponds to wave height. 
So this is zero to three foot waves here. This is three to six foot waves here. The red arrows are wave direction. So the waves are going this way. The green arrows are wind speed and direction. So the wind is pushing the waves this way, three foot seas. So you'll know if it's a good day to go boating offshore or not. The last weather feature is visibility. Click on menu, change weather, and this time let's choose visibility. You'll see different shades of gray on screen. This indicates fog and how dense that fog is. The darker the gray, the more dense the fog. And again, you can determine if it's a good day to go boating offshore or not.